How do you give thanks for the gift of life? You can't put a price on it, I don't know that. Though his weeks now consist of traveling more than 200 miles, round trip for doctor visits at UT Southwestern Medical Center, Transplant comes with travel. This 70-year-old Stephenville resident is filled with gratitude because less than a year ago, it was only a matter of time before his heart would give out. Well, I knew I wasn't breathing good and everything, but you know, I knew it was going to happen. I didn't know how soon, but it did happen. Pete Sanchez had a left ventricular assist device implanted in May of 2016. It helps the heart pump blood, but his cardiologist at Texas Health Resources knew more had to be done. Sanchez's vital signs were alarming. His heart was becoming weak and his legs and ankles were starting to swell, common symptoms of congestive heart failure. You have like six, six to 12 months to live. Uh, that is, if you don't get pneumonia, and so then he decided, well, doctor, make me an appointment. And that's how he landed at UT Southwestern, where the nationally recognized heart transplant team treats some of the most complex cases of heart failure. They knew they had to act, and fast. This OVAD allowed him to bridge the gap uh, while he was waiting for a heart transplant safely. Finally one night, about 9.30, the phone rang and they said they had a heart for him and I just jumped up for joy. He was on the waiting list for only two weeks. On October 16th of 2018, Pete Sanchez received a new heart. Often patients who have end organ failure of one type may have an additional organ that's failed as well. And so they require what we call dual organ transplants. Dr. Parcia Vagafi was the second transplant surgeon to operate on Sanchez in a matter of 48 hours. On top of his failing heart, his kidneys were also giving out. They're challenging patients because you're managing multiple organs that have failed. It's one of the benefits of UT Southwestern where we have expertise kind of across the board for all the various organ systems. It benefits the patient when we're making these complex decisions as a collaborative team because we can offer a personalized approach. I want to give thanks to the donor and then the good Lord for giving me another chance. April is National Donate Life Month and so yeah we're very big supporters of getting the message out there that, to sign up to be an organ donor. Sanchez, who is still receiving recovery care from the transplant and cardiac team at UT Southwestern, credits his wife of 48 years and children for their endless support. But there's one tiny cheerleader, his only great-granddaughter Leah, giving him the greatest motivation. She said, Papa, are you exercising? I said, yes, I am. If you don't exercise, you're going to be living in Dallas forever. <laughs> A voice of encouragement he hopes to hear for a very long time. I got 70 years out of the first heart and I have to go up to 100 so I can get another 30 out of this one here.